What is up, ladies and gentlemen? If you are investing your money in easy equities or somewhere else and you are not using your annual tax-free savings allowance, then you're probably losing yourself money. So, that's why in today's episode, we're going to be breaking down what you need to know about tax-free investing, what you can invest in, how it will save you money, and by the end of the episode, we'll be investing 20,000 Rand in real time into our tax-free savings account. So stay tuned, and let's get started. What's going on guys? I hope everyone enjoyed the last collaboration video that we put out where we brought together South African finance YouTubers and picked our favorite stocks for the rest of this year. From the huge amount of comments and all the positive feedback, it seemed like everyone did. So thank you for that and I'm sure we can do more collaborations like that in the future. And while we're talking about comments, over the last year I've always received a few on my portfolio review videos about my tax-free savings account. Mostly these comments are questions about why my TFSA is so low and why haven't I utilized it more. And you know what? They were right. So I took some time over the last couple of months to learn up on the topic and make sure I knew what I wanted to know. So now it's time to break down the main takeaways for you guys watching and more importantly it's time to invest 20,000 Rand here on this video completely tax free. So before we go into easy equities, let's hear from the South African Revenue Service itself about what their tax-free investment regulation is all about. So let's put it simply, tax-free investments were introduced as an incentive to encourage household savings. This incentive has been available from 1 March 2015. And the simple outcome is that you don't have to pay any income tax dividend tax or capital gains tax on the returns from these investments. So by taking advantage of your annual allowance, you'll keep all of the returns and you don't pay tax on any dividends, right? But also if you sell the investment at a profit, like a 100 Rand investment that grew to 120 Rand, you don't have to pay tax on that 20 Rand gain either. That's the savings on the capital gains tax. So the comments were completely right. Although I did have some funds in the TFSA, by not using it to the full extent, I was essentially, to whatever means, losing money for no reason. A big part of investing is, of course, to find the right places to put your money, but another very important part of this game that we play is to try and reduce fees, reduce expenses, and of course, reduce taxes as much as possible within the legal framework. And the tax-free investment regulation is an incredibly easy way to do that. All right, so SARS has provided some information here, but we're going to simplify all of that for you. Basically, here is how it works. You can only invest a certain amount each year and in your lifetime. Right now, that amount is 36,000 Rand that you can invest in total for the 2022 financial year up to 28 February 2023. Whatever you don't invest gets forfeited and you can't make it up next year. Like if you only invest 30,000 Rand this year, you don't get an extra 6,000 Rand next year. And if you invest more than the 36,000 Rand limit, you get penalties on that extra amount. Remember that 36,000 Rand is in totality. So be careful not to go over that total limit through investing in multiple platforms. Then there is also a lifetime limit right now of 500,000 Rand, which technically no one can reach yet because it's only been running for six years. But let's pause here for a moment because this next one is an important one. You see, the returns on your investment, including growth of the investment and dividends, do not count as contributions. So if your 30,000 Rand investment grows to 600,000 Rand, you are not in breach of the limits. Only when you withdraw and reinvest does it become another contribution. And a last quick one is that your TFSA is not a transactional account, so it has very limited use other than longer term investing. Cool, and that's it, a basic rundown of how the tax-free investment incentive works. But guys, don't take my word for it and be sure to look up all the relevant tax laws that apply to you before using this regulation. The Easy Equities website also has a very extensive Q&A about how it works and how to use it. And luckily on Easy Equities, we have quite a large range of ETFs, unit trust, baskets and bundles. I think I counted around 160 different investment options at some point. So I think we can all agree that this is a great way to invest your money and that I took too long to learn about it and use it, but we're going to start rectifying that right now and we're going to head over to the platform and invest 20,000 Rand in our TFSA. 
All right, so at this point, let's clarify here. What we're going to do is moving over some of our current unit trusts to the TFSA account on Easy Equities to essentially make more money. You see, I noticed this month when I got my income from my unit trust that there were some notable tax deductions on these. We received 527 Rand this month from our prescient income provider and our coronation strategic income. But if you look at the detail, there is one, two, three deductions for tax for a total of 3 Rand 96. And of course, we incur these every month for the prescience and every three months for the coronation. And they differ each time depending on the composition of the distribution and the tax that gets applied on each type of the income. Now, these aren't huge amounts as you can see, but the point is that there is no reason to pay them. <laughs> and over time, saving this each month compounds into more and more savings and income. Interestingly, the prescient income provider isn't available here, but the coronation strategic income is. Now, you might think you could just ask Easy Equities to transfer these over, but I did ask them and they said no. So we will have to sell and rebuy, but luckily with Unit Trust, there are no transaction fees and also no fees to transfer RANDs to your TFSA. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, we're gonna get into our unit trust. Ticker symbol here is CSIB4, and we're going to go down and place a sell order for the full 100% of the unit trust. Check everything is correct, which it is, and no fees, and we click sell, and there you go. The sell order is out. Now, with unit trust, it takes longer than a normal stock transaction because it doesn't go through the JSC, but the company itself. So we'll have to wait a couple of days for the sale to go through and settle, and then we'll transfer the funds over into our tax-free account and repurchase the same unit trust on the other side. And you'll see them reflecting in our portfolio here in future videos on the channel. So guys, that is it for today's episode where we broke down how the tax-free account works and transferring over our investment of 20,000 Rand so that will make more money in the future. If you found the information helpful or enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more news, markets, and our own portfolio, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. But until then, I'll see you guys next time, as always, on Casual Cash. Cheers.